Here, I'll show you for instance with, with mine. Check this out, Born. You see this fortress right here? I've got a fortress here. But the other part of it is over here, I think. See back here, this part right here? There's parts and pieces that are like out and away from it. There might be another one somewhere else. But then over here, for example, um, hold on. I just saw a piece of it. Um. Did I go the right way? It's cut off, but you've gone all around, explored, there's nothing, you have to check it again. Because it can be expected, we've decided that if she thinks it's a place she wants to go, we just go. And if she sees something she wants to make her happy, we just get it. Well, yeah. That makes the most sense in my opinion, dude. You're doing the right thing. Um, Right here. Born. You see this? There's a fortress right here. You see how this is here and this is all like this? If I were to go up these stairs... So there's like long hallways and stuff. There's there's no nether wart here either. But I'll turn the corner here and I'll show you. See how there's a piece over there? That's the same fortress. But you can't get to it from the hallways. I had to go through here. And then I had to dig my way over and around. And see if you see, see how long of a distance it is in between? There's the other half of it right there. This is where the nether wart was. It's in its own chamber. It's right here on the side of the stairs. Oh, there's skeletons right there. You look further around? Yeah, sometimes they're deeper too. There's two. Skull? Skull? No skull. Damn it. I want a wither skeleton skull. <laughs> Boo. So yeah, good luck, but they're either... You'll, you'll find the hallway that has the the stuff. It's just going to take you a second. Hi, Amelia. Welcome in. Jonah, it's good to see you, friend. Welcome back. Oh, this part right here is almost gone, you guys. It's almost gone. I'm excited. You're trying out tea again. I couldn't drink before due to your stomach ulcers. Well, if it's going to give you one, be easy with that. You ran away from work to drink some coffee. Why not just drink coffee at work? TerraCap, thank you for the host. How was your weekend, TerraCap? How was practice? When's your first game? <laughs> Amelia? You hugging me? How dare you? <clears throat> For showing your bees. <laughs> Those are the only bees of yours I'm going to show. The other bees are for me to see. Practice was long, a nice three hours. You're hiding in the break room. Can't have drinks on the bench till management leaves. Are you not allowed to have them at all? Or how does that work? Because you said until they leave. 
Sounds like an SOP that you're breaking over there. March 14th. What about for the other? I'm going to pretend I didn't say that. What did I say? I mean, it's a good way to go about it. Because I have no idea what's going on. Imagine boogers getting in your coffee. Yeah, Wiz, I don't... I don't think that's why they're not allowed out there, for sure. You break SOP all the time. Oh, okay. Well, don't tell too many people that. Oh, I got you, Terra Cat. I just show up when I need to. How much snow did you guys get over the weekend, Terra Cap? During that blizzard. That nor'easter. <clears throat> Only about two to three inches. Really? Interesting. I figure since you were closer to the epicenter, you would have had more. You were overwhelmed? Did you make a lot of tips? Where the snow bands lines up? Well, no, I know that it, it was a it was a winter hurricane of sorts. But I mean, the eye the eye went across where Terracap was. I just thought maybe there was some heavier snow there. Yes, yeah, you made a lot of tips. You had a table of ten, eight. Wow. Talk about knocking stuff out of the ballpark, Terracap. So you were overwhelmed, but it wasn't a bad day at the end of the day. So it wasn't pure death, but it still killed you. Now, are you are you one of those waitresses that try to memorize everything, or do you write everything down? Because I know some walk over, they just hear what you say, and they walk away, and it's like, mm, can I trust you 100%? You have to write it all down? I got gotcha. you. Ah, please don't get me. I wouldn't be able to memorize it either, Terra Cap. <clears throat> People ask for weird things. Hamburger instead of a hamburger patty. Can I get a chicken patty? And can I get mustard on the side but not ketchup? And I want two pickles on the side and two pickles on the sandwich. <laughs> Thanks. What? What if I just bring you all the stuff on the side and you can just build your own burger at this point? Because <laughs> you're just asking for too much. Here, have a coloring book while you're waiting. And sir, this is a Wendy's. Mountain Dew with lemon? That's not too bad, but that's kind of tangy in my opinion. That's a little sour. <laughs> lemon wedge and Mountain Dew? Huh. Huh. Is it, is it the literal dude off the Warheads packaging? Is, is that who's drinking this? Oh. 
There used to be a restaurant chain that had wax paper on the tables that gave you crayons for while you waited on food. Oh, I don't doubt that one bit. I don't doubt that one bit, Sleepy Dev. I like a chicken sandwich made like a Big Mac, no special sauce, no bun, no tomato, and mad barbecue sauce. <laughs> Jonah, did you, have you ever watched Epic Meal Time? Yeah, there's two sides to wax paper, Flavids. There's a, there's a slick side and a rough side. So you give them the rough side with crayons. You never heard of it. So it, it's changed a lot with sponsorships and stuff. But back in the day, it was five guys who just drank all the time. And they would, they would build the most heinous food you could ever imagine. And they made a fast food lasagna. And this guy's in the drive-thru of a Burger King. Was it a Burger King? I, th I think it was a Burger King. Maybe it was a McDonald's. And he was ordering stuff. And he was like, and yeah, let me get a large cup full of your Big Mac sauce. And they're like, oh yeah, no problem. And he goes into one restaurant. He goes to the drive through And he's like, let me get 14 burgers. No vegetables. And the girl's like, so you mean like no ketchup or no lettuce? He's like, no vegetables. And she's like having the hardest time trying to figure it out, Jonah. I and mean, that's what that reminded me of. He was like, 15 cheeseburgers, no vegetables. And she was like stunlocked for like a minute. <laughs> you write profanities on the underside of the wax because they typically just flip it over when you leave. Ah. Skater cakes. Do you get creative at least and like bubble letter them and stuff? Or do you just write just the words? Yeah, I did it. What are you going to do about it? But Jonah, they used to have a running calorie counter on their meals. As they would add stuff to it, the calories kept going up and up and up and up. I think the fast food lasagna may, may have been like 300,000 calories or something like that. And then towards the end of the video, it was just a montage of them eating and, like, covered in, like, slop and food. And it was, it was, it was a thing to behold back in the day. It wasn't anything like it on the internet. Didn't know any swear words until you were 18. Liar. If you went to public school, you knew how to curse right, right as you got into middle school at least. Am I talking about Epic Meal Time? Yeah. The the version of Epic Meal Time that had muscles glasses, so the early, early, early stuff. One time we went and the manager came out and said, So this is the one my waiters told me about. All we could think of was busted. You got got. I always hated customers who would eat the whole meal and then say to me the steak was tough and inedible and wanted more, wanted more for free. Those were the ones that wanted free food, Flavids. And they held that over your head. We'll give you a bad review unless you give us another tough steak. I always just grin it and bear it when I go to places and the food's wrong. Only because if it's busy, I know you guys are busy and mistakes happen. I'm not going to be like, uh, excuse me, but my steak is one shade darker than I asked for. I'm just going to eat it. They complain to the owner, of course. It was if they're not busy, sure. That's like officially whiz. That kind of mindset is like going into a chat with a thousand people and expecting to have your chat read. If the chat's busy, they're not going to read your chat. And you can't be like, oh, I hate this channel because they don't talk to their chat room. You know, there's, there's expectations. If a place is super duper busy, you might not get the best perfect state that you want. It's great to have expectations, but you got to kind of have that wiggle room too. 
The steak is more raw than the Mari Povich show. Didn't he? Wasn't he married to Connie Chung for a long time? Why does? Why do I associate those two together for some reason? Connie Chung was an old news anchor. For anybody who doesn't know, for CBS, I think. And I think she was married to Mari. I'm gonna speak to corporate. Yeah, right, Jonah. <laughs> and but if you're in fast food and they say that, you look at them like. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. You don't know who any of those people are. They're old people. One of them is a was a reality TV show host. He was the guy, you Skater Cakes, you know the meme. You are not the father. That's that's Mario Povich. The lie detector te te test determined that was a lie. He is slash was. Yeah, I remember that was a thing for a long time, Sleepy Developer. It was like a tabloid thing they reported on. Did you see that Jerry Springer has a judge show now? No. No. I don't even want to know, bro, man. Is he still filming or did he stop? I, I don't know. I don't watch daytime TV. Why did you skip your message? What do you mean? I didn't skip your message, Wiz. <laughs> I'm trying to have multiple conversations. If I don't read a message out loud, it doesn't mean I didn't read it. Well, I mean, Jonah, so like, uh, hold on, Wiz, um, it, it, it depends on the restaurant for sure, yeah, but they, but even though, even if it is a franchise, they still have, they, they still have a number of people above them, you still deal with corporate to a degree. I mean, you still got to pay, like, your dues and stuff and everything else. Yeah, there's 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 still a corporate entity that, that is above you that just doesn't dictate everything that you do. This message is brought to you, uh, brought to you by Skip the Message. I'm sorry, is that a thing, or are you just being... Judge Judy is real, and you can't take that from me. No, no, no. So, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can go become a judge right now. Just like how you can become a um, a, a priest who who does weddings and stuff. Anybody can become one of those kind of people. It's not hard to do. And a lot of those court cases, they tell you in the fine print, either at the end of the show or something like that. That a lot of those court cases have already come to a conclusion. They just go on that show because they receive compensation for the court case. It, it's not that their course has tried their lives the very first time. Most of the time it's already been taken care of. Ordained minister. There you go. But Judge Judy is a real judge. Judge Mathis was a real judge. There are real judges. But then there are people that aren't. Yeah, arbitration. There you go. That's the term. Anyone anyone can be, you know, an arbitrator, and that's what some of the TV judges are at the end of the day. But yeah, most of the most of the court cases are, are either done or you know, finished, and, and when the when those TV judges take over, they're like just fleshing out the, the little stuff. They're not doing anything crazy. And then there's Jerry. I, I I don't. It's like a it's like a slow moving car crash, Jonah. And I don't want to see it, but at the same time, my morbid curiosity is like, what kind of shit are they doing in there? <laughs> All rise, Judge Jerry. 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 All of a sudden, here comes a chair. <clears throat> 
I haven't watched Jerry Springer in like 20, 25 years, so I wouldn't even know the format of what he's doing. All I know, it used to be him. He was like, oh, let's bring her out. And then she comes running out. You piece of beep. And they start throwing stuff. And there's like body slams. And like all the security comes out. And they're holding each other back. And they're yelling and screaming about the most obscene things ever. You told me you liked me, but then you slept with my mama. Your mama did a better job than you did last night, darling. Oh. And then there's more beeps, and then here comes the brother, and the brother comes in, and like it's like a wrestling match in the middle of the stage, and yeah, Jonah, exactly. You got yelled at for not doing what isn't my job. Cool. Did you tell them that? <clears throat> Do you look at them and go, "It's not my job." Not my job. We need so much lava for this part here to cover it in. I don't work here, lady. Oh no, she works there. <laughs> it's probably in the department that she wasn't in today or something. Judge Judy's net worth is 440 million? Oh yeah. Judith Scheindland. Yeah, but officially whiz, she's been on TV for 30 years? How long has Judge Judy been on the air? It's been on the air for probably ever. Got yelled at by customers in a store that didn't even work in. <laughs> oh, Jonah. They just like your hair so much. Twenty-five seasons, yeah. That's crazy. Uh -huh. What do you mean? What are you insinuating over there, sir? I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> oh, hi, pigs. There are a lot of pigs here. If I hit one, it would be so bad. For showing up uniform for a job I never had. That's interesting. And why aren't you in uniform? Where's my super... Woman, where's my super suit? I want these lights so bad. I can't wait to get them off of here. I'm glad nothing spawns on them. I was like, give it a minute. You're going to really feel, you're going to feel really shitty. Yeah. <laughs> right, Sparkles? And they're just everywhere. And what sucks is they don't die in the lava. They're immune to like lava. So once I cut this stuff out and they drop to the bottom, they're just gonna stay there until I despawn them. You're just frustrated. What's up, Amelia? I fly away and let them despawn. Well, yeah, no, I know. 
But I'm not ready for that yet. I'm still clearing this out. I'm just talking out loud. Because I know someone's in chat's gonna be like, we'll just push him into the lava. <laughs> I'm covering bases before they become an issue. I'm pretending I have a little miniature ch Twitch chat on my shoulder, like spamming me to do the most obvious things. Has anyone suggested TNT? Someone actually earlier did, bro, man. They suggested I use TNT, and then they suggested I make beds. And then I asked for a breakdown of logistics, and they broke out all the logistics. And then they reached a point where they couldn't give me any more information. They were like, just watch a YouTube video. And I was like, well, then stop telling me what to do. <laughs> You did it as a reply, that's why, Sparkles. You can't do it as a reply. My bot doesn't know what replies are, it's an old bot. <laughs> mm. So you can use the hug emote if you wanted to. Boomer.exe. No, here's here's what makes me sad. Twitch got rid of chance. They need to get rid of the reply function. Do you have to get off my do I have to get off my lawn bot? No, I don't. I have I'm using the old uh Streamlabs chat bot that you had to download back in the day. Which you can hardly get a hold of anymore. Because they got CloudBot now. I'm not using that. <laughs> Skater kicks. <laughs> well, it's not an actual website link. Logitech owns Streamlabs. Yeah. Alright, I need to come up here and chop this down. So now we made a connection again. <laughs> 